You know, I remember it reminds me of the story of Daniel and the lion's den. I'm sure many of you who grew up in the church, you know that story. Daniel gets thrown in there for praying for disobeying the edict of the king. And in the morning, you know, the king didn't want to throw Daniel in there, but because of the way the law was structured, he had to do it. But the king was really hoping the next day that Daniel would still be alive because the hope was that Daniel's God was real and Daniel's God would be able to save him. And when the king comes up to the lion's den the next morning, he shouts into the hole, Daniel, he says, servant of the living God, has the God who you serve continually been able to deliver you from the lions? Listen to that question. Daniel, has the God who you have served continually been able to deliver you from the lions? I've got a question for you. Whatever God that is you're serving, you may say, well, Daniel, I don't serve any God. I'm, I'm an atheist or I'm agnostic or I just don't believe in any of this stuff. I just live for myself. I serve myself. You see, you're God to you. You're your God. Maybe money is your God. Maybe video games are your God. Maybe social media is your God. Maybe that boy or that girl that you're infatuated with, maybe that's your God. Let me ask you a question. When the day comes that life gets hard because it will get hard. If you haven't discovered that yet, you will. It's a matter of time. When life gets hard, when you find yourself in a deep, dark pit, will the God that you have been serving be able to deliver you from the mouth of the lions?